Boom. I'm live. What's up? I have no idea why I just did that. Do some adjusting. Hopefully the video and audio. So yeah, what's up? I know we only got a couple of people in here at the moment, but hey, you know. I got things going on today, so uh, yeah. Decided to go a few minutes early, just in case things happen. So, hopefully you can see and hear me good while I adjust the old camera angle. What's up, Tortoise? I think I said that right. I'm actually, so I'm gonna try to keep up with the chats here because Romania welcome um that's awesome nice spread the word in Romania everybody needs to subscribe to my channel the mission is yours if you choose to accept it spread the word <laughs> what's up Chris um so yeah I've got the um uh we've got a small little uh, no, I'm not watching the, the Mike Tyson fight. No, no, no. It, yeah, I just, no. <laughs> the only pay-per-view fights that I watch, and it's been a long time since I've done any of them, that's UFC fights, but I've got no desire to see Mike Tyson, um, try to do whatever he's trying to do. He looks great, though. He's a beast. Uh, I'll go ahead and predict now that he won't win, and I'm not even going to watch it, but that's my prediction. Or it's going to be lame, and it's going to be like, you know, a split decision, something weird. So, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I got the, uh, got the grandkids coming over today. My daughter and her husband, and we're doing a little small little um, Thanksgiving thing with them today. What's up, Lar? So uh, we've got stuff upstairs cooking and everything, and um, so yeah, I just thought I would uh, drop down here real quick, hop on, show you some progress on the latest lid. Um, I'm still working on the other lid. But this one right here was a little bit more of a, an easier build to get to get going because there's less there's less to do after the paint. So it will here momentarily. The ham is in the oven right now. It should be coming out in about an hour and a half. Then some dressings going in and some uh, what else we have some green beans. Uh, I think there's some mac and cheese for the kids. That was a silent, you know. I'll, I'll be fighting the grandkids over the mac and cheese. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, happy Saturday. Um, yeah, we got some... I'm with you, Mary. I'm a, I'd rather have ham than turkey. I'm not, I like turkey. I'm just not, you know. I'd rather have a turkey sandwich than not turkey and dressing. Because when I had Thanksgiving on Thursday, we had turkey over at my mother and father-in-law's house. And after you get through eating it, the only thing you want to do is go to bed. I actually think I went to bed that night at like 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Um, I'm trying to remember how I'm going to do this. And I, I'm sort of killing time and stalling right now because I'm trying to remember something. And I don't know. I've got some other tape. Um, 
that I've been trying to get to come in, but both orders have came in and it's been really just janky. So uh, I may have to utilize my junky tape. What's up, Jared? So yeah, it's a, it it is. It's a straight up. It's a sleeping pill. That's that's all it is. It's you're you're going to go to sleep. Ooh, Charlie, that's that sounds pretty legit right there. Um, but no, I sort of thought I'd show you a little bit of my processes. Um, with this this lid because it's actually getting ready for the next coat of paint so i'm going to go ahead and prep this one and at least i can get some paint spray today i'm definitely going to get that done and i thought i'd just hang out with you guys and chat for a while you know why not, right? We all have fun doing this. Glue Sniffer, what's up? I watched uh, one of his videos this morning. And uh, he's got a pretty wicked little model kit going on. I actually digged it. Dug it. I dug I dugged it. So basically... This step I'm doing here, you technically don't have to do. It's just the way I tape things out. Because um, this is just like a piece of pre-tape. And it gives me just a little bit better of uh, forgiveness on my borders. Cause I'll actually be putting more tape and paper and blah, blah, blah over the whole thing. I'm trying to decide. So that's going to be, I'm trying to remember. I don't think, I think the, I think the ear caps are the same color. I'm trying to remember on my ear cap. If it's going to be the same color as, I think, yeah, I think it is. It's going to be the same color as the main helmet. So, I can cut, I can paint straight over that. What I do with my, where are they at? You ever notice when you, when you think you're, when you think you're really organized, but you're not? Sometimes you, you get too organized and then you can't find anything. Yeah, that's me sometimes. That's legitimately me a lot. Okay, let's see. Then that will come straight across like that. And tuck back in like that. I'm going to cut that off and do a double. So what's everybody into today? Other than uh, watching me attempt to tape out this helmet. Hopefully, you guys have some uh, interesting stuff planned for today if not just chilling and relaxing and whatever lar working I, I feel you on that one i've there you go i knew mary would be working on something if you don't follow mary on instagram you need to man she is like oh she's a beast she's like She's working on it. She does more projects than I do. It's crazy. I think that will suffice. I think. This isn't all we're going to do, I promise you. We'll get into some other stuff, too, so. 
I just wanted to go ahead and get this took care of. That's right. They're not going to pay for themselves. That's God's honest truth right there. That is, hang on. Kim's upstairs moving stuff. That is a mess you have cash, cold hard cash. We got cash. Boom. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you need to. Someone sent me $100,000. <laughs> right there. I don't I would I would lose I would lose my lunch. Uh 100 bucks, nice. You know, that's the one thing that I truthfully do not own any of are lightsabers. And I always said if I ever make it to Galaxy's Edge, that's probably what I would do is build a lightsaber. Even though they're probably, I have no idea, but they're probably uh, uh, ridiculously expensive. I have no idea. I don't really, um, but I, if I had to guess, I would say the Galaxy Eggs to build a lightsaber would probably set you back a minimum of a couple of hundred bucks, if I had to guess. If you guys know anybody that's that's got one done, definitely let me know. All right. I think the pre-tape is good. Oh man, I'm a big fan. I'm I'm a big fan of two colors of lightsabers. And it's I've never looked at it as good and evil. I'll be honest with you, I like the red sabers, but I also like white. You know. I'm I don't know, just a pure white. I'm not a big fan of greens and blues and things like that. Um I don't know. But yeah, it's a um I don't know, it's a it's a weird I just look at things, I guess, a little differently when it comes to uh, things like lightsabers and stuff. I think I look at it more of uh, a, from a photographer's point of view. That's right. I'm 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 taping, I'm taping a helmet, or I'm getting the I'm getting the process started anyway. Oh, if you guys want a little, tr if you want to know a little trick to uh, to taping and painting, um, again, you might already know this, but when you're taping things out and you paint things and you don't let it, let's say for you, like I let all my paints dry for like crazy, at least at 24 hours. I mean, I, that's just me, but sometimes if you use like hair dryers and stuff and, and then you have to tape and mask off things, um, the tape, a lot of times is too sticky and it'll pull the paint off. If you'll take your tape and just, it's de-stick it, just put it on your shirt or even on a table. It'll still be sticky enough to use, but it takes a lot of the extreme tack off the tape. Yeah. Good morning. So there's your little um, little taping tidbit. I'm trying a different approach to taping this helmet than I did with my other lid. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna work out, but uh, I'm gonna try to be a little bit more uh, clean. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking anyway. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see how well it works. I'm not for sure how well it's going to work, but we're going to we're going to find out. Let's 
So what I'm gonna do, since I put the yellow tape down first, coming back over the top of the yellow tape with my uh, paper. So I'm trying a new technique is what I'm doing. I'm trying a new technique. Or a new technique for me, anyway. This isn't a, like, a new, uh, it's definitely, you know, been around for a while, but instead of using big pieces, um, I wanted to use some smaller pieces. And then instead of having so much um, to have to fool with folding, I figured I would go this route. And it's a little bit more, it's, it's, it's overkill. It's, it is seriously overkill. But I like trying new things. I like to try to, and it's getting close to Christmas time, so I figured I'd you know, practice wrapping, wrapping presents. But it's definitely overkill. So be easy on me. All my all my guy all my people out there really do this stuff. Be easy on me. I know I'm being I'm I'm overkilling it. But hey. Better to have too much than not enough. Right? Do, do, do. I had somebody comment the other day. It was so funny because I say dooty do a lot in my videos. And I think somebody was counting them. It was so funny. Do, do, do. <laughs> I, I didn't even realize I, I did it. But hey, people are paying attention. I like it. I like it a lot. Voila. I think this section here <laughs> that or I say it a lot. You know, like I said, and it's it's like a I guess a reflex. I don't know what it is, but I just thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious that, uh, that someone actually did that. Ah, that piece will go right there. I almost just did it then. Doo -dee -doo. <laughs> Doo -dee -doo. There we go. Boom. We're cooking with Crisco now. Voila. There we go. We're getting there. Robin figure. Yeah. Uh, Rock and pop. You've been racking up here lately from what I've, what I've seen you post on the old Insta ham. I want to um, get that death stroke. And I think it's a red hood figure that's coming out. That'd be cool. What's up, Brandon? So I can already tell you this, I'm actually digging this way a lot better than my first way. Because the first way I had just had like a wad of paper. And at least now, everything is more, it's more tidy. See, it's just more tidy. So now what I'm gonna do, cut a 
smaller strip of paper. Oh yeah. Best stuff ever. And since I actually sticking it down to the um, to my cutting mat, it's actually detacking, which is what we talked about a while ago, which is great. Boom. This is the worst part about any kind of build is, well, I say the worst part is the most time consuming part is getting all of the tape, tape done. And oh man, it just takes for, it just seems like it. I'm a very, believe it or not, I'm a very impatient person and it is hard for me sometimes to uh, have patience. Yeah, it really is. Okay. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing the same thing I did earlier. Doing a little pre-tape. because that gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Hasbro Pulse just made a post. Oh, wow, Charlie. I wish I had like stores like, I don't have a lot of, I've got Ultimate and I've got Battlegrounds, but we don't have like a tremendous amount of comic book stores. I wish we did. I might actually, and it might it might actually be for the best because if they were a lot of them, I'd probably be more, um, I'd probably be more into comics, which Lord knows I don't need, I don't need anything else to be into. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need nothing else. I'm already into too much. Ah, oh, come on, get in there. You're close. Oh, that might've been it right there. Yay. Another cool thing too about when you do this kind of pre-tape, the skinnier tape actually is easier to work with than the wider tape. It's more forgiving. So uh, it allows you to be a little bit more flexible than the wide, the wide rolls. Of, of tapage, if that makes any sense. Hopefully it does. All right. Cut that. Booyah. Uh, you've never read a comic? What, really? Comics are, they're great. I've been out of comic books for so long that honestly, it, it just wouldn't make sense for me to even get back into them because I, I just, it just wouldn't make sense. Um, but occasionally I do pick up a comic because I do enjoy I do enjoy them. I was actually um, watching the Marvel 616 on, on Disney. And I was really fascinated with the, uh, the Marvel way that they talked about. Uh, that was really a cool episode. All right. 
So now we got that taped up. Yay! Grab another piece. Yeah, Jared, you'll it's it's good. It's it's really it's a it's a good thing. It wasn't um I didn't really know what to expect. Um, um I was really I really liked the um the Michael Wu episode, that was cool. I, I really love Michael Wu's uh, work. The cosplay episode, <clears throat> I really like that one. Uh, but it, it, it seems like it hits pretty much um, whatever you're interested in, which I found that rather cool, is the fact that, uh, wow. I don't know if you heard that or not, but man, my cat was going crazy. He just went running across the floor. My cat runs like a dog. I don't understand how a cat can be so lead-footed, but mine is very lead-footed. Flipping good because I can tuck the paper underneath. I need a small piece. I need a small piece. Yeah, my my Jerry, my cats, especially my little flurkin. Man, I'm serious. She is she is loud. She's a loud runner. Loud. I mean, like a Clydesdale upstairs. And, you know, I always, uh, the thing about cats is you always think about them being, like, all, you know, sneaky. I don't know. I don't think mine ever got the sneaky, the sneaky part. All right. Get this piece on here. under oh we're cooking we're cooking right now we're cooking um cat hate you <laughs> cats are a funny creature um like i said i've i never would have thought that i would ever be a, a cat person but uh i dig them you know, they're just needy enough. And I still like dogs, though. But the, the beauty about a cat is literally they just, they just do their own thing. They really do. I don't know what, because I know what she's did. She just woke up from her nap, and and she's like feeling her oats right now. We're almost done. We are almost done.
There we go. Boom. So, um, give you a little bit of uh, thought process behind. So the next color is gonna be um, wildflower blue. Uh, this is for the T-visor and the band. And when I, when I did the other lid, I actually taped off all of the T-visor stuff. And I don't think I'm gonna do it this time because I'm gonna be putting two other colors on it. So any overspray that, that happens down here on the cheek area, it's not that big of a deal because I'm gonna be masking off these two areas and painting those. So I may not mask this off. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm just trying a new a new way of uh, of doing it, or I'm attempting to find a new way of doing it that may save a little bit of uh, a little bit of time and a little bit of uh, energy. I see Matias drop in. What's up, buddy? I think I saw his name pop up. But I do want to put one extra piece here to see if I can create a cleaner line. I need that. I think that will work. Maybe. What I'm trying to do is tuck this in and then run that line out. Believe it or not, the end of a paintbrush works really good. Um, flat nose screwdriver do the same thing, but since I have paintbrushes right here, that's what I grabbed. There we go. Just bring that up. There we go. Yeah. Certainly. Right there. Boom. Voila. Wally la la la. Um, oh, I do want to put, I want to put uh, a couple of more pieces of tape. Then we're done. Well, I, 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 I fibbed. I thought we were done. But I want to put one extra one right here on this corner piece like that. And then we'll be done. There we go. Yeah. All right, so you gotta be honest with me. How boring is this right now? <laughs> Hopefully not too bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. All right, so typically what I do as well is once I get something taped up, I usually let it sit for about an hour. Could be worse. <laughs> um, and then I'll let it sit for about an hour and then I'll come back. I'll take it over to my paint station and I'll let it sit there in that environment for about an hour. And then, then I'll come back before I actually start the paint. And I want to look and see if any of the tape has detacked and came off or because what I found over time is if I get in too big of a hurry um, then it will um, even though you know when you do the light coats and stuff and it supposedly adheres it um, what I found over time if I let it just sit in that environment It'll let, it'll let me know how the tape actually adhered to my edges and everything, but there we go. She's, so the next coat will be this color. 
the visor. All of this will be painted that color. Because what I learned was when I did the other lid, when I taped it off, um, number one, it was three times more work on this section. And what I found was this, this line right here was a little bit um, not the way I wanted it. So after doing some review, I thought, well, once I paint all of this and get that color down, when I bring the, uh, the tape line across here, I'll be able to see better and be able to mask it off a little bit better and create a, cream, a, a, cleaner, a cleaner line. So, take it over here and uh, we'll let it sit for a few minutes. I've already got the, uh, I've already got the, um, the ear caps, they're already painted. Uh, I still need to paint the range finder, but I'm probably gonna paint that last. Because it's a little bit trickier of a, a bill of a paint. So, let me clean my mess up a little bit. Hopefully today on the old uh, Insta ham, you guys will see a new photo of that helmet with its second color on. Yay! Now what do we do? I know one thing. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit so I can. Uh, chat with you guys for a little. We'll chat for a minute. Then, uh, also, if you follow me you, uh, on Instagram, you probably saw the latest mass creation that I'm working on. So, yeah. I'm always doing something. Always. I just... Always. I know what we need to do. I know what we need to do. We need to break out this because uno, dos, tres. I'm hoping they still got those on sale for 11 bucks. Uh, I haven't been back to Target in a hot minute. So, um, if they still got them on sale for 11 bucks, I'll probably pick up another couple of them this weekend. So, we might as well build a few, uh, few battle packs. Well, come on. Wow. But the uh, the the army is coming along. It's it's slowly but surely coming along. Um. Yeah, we're getting there. We are slowly getting there. All right. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Don't need that. Need this. All right. Definitely need these. We definitely need the old cabbage. 
All right, so this is the part that I need to, it's, it's pretty sad because I'm literally not keeping, well, I'm keeping them, but I'm not, uh, is going through and getting all the, um, the Mando stuff out. And what's weird is, is how they get some of it is in one bag and the others is in the other bag. Really? Come on. The next thing I need to do, once I get the, uh, I, I need to start looking for some normal blasters because I'm not a big fan of these. Um, I'd like to have the other type blasters for my little Mando army. It's what I'd like to have. And I'm not worried about the little ships that come with the battle packs. I can always build those later. So I will be putting all the spare parts in one bag. All right, there's that. Come on, where are your legs at? There's some legs. I need another set of legs. Hello. Oh, there they are. I bagged the other set of legs. What's up, Kent Pool? Um, I bagged the other set of legs. Ah, there we go. Four bodies, four heads, four capes. Oh, I need these things. I need those. There we go. G force. Practice is the key. There is no, I mean, it, it's one of those things to where um, you can't let it, you know. Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? Um, and, you know, people put so much pressure on themselves um, when it comes to a lot of this stuff, and I don't understand why, you know? I'm my own worst critic when it comes to uh, my photography. Uh, no one can bash me worse than I can bash myself. And uh, I don't know why I just did that because uh, I got ahead of myself. But the, the trick to it is, is there is no trick. There is no, um, hmm, excuse me. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta use your teeth for pliers. Um, you know, there, there's, there's no, secret remedy here. I mean, it's just one of those things that you, um, you just have to get out and do it and, and practice and, and, you know, create your craft. Um, there, is, I will tell you this, there is no such thing as a bad photo. So I do argue that point a lot because every photo that you take whether it be toys or landscapes or whatever, uh, you should be able to learn from it, you know? And as long as you can learn from it, then you, you've succeeded. And that's the part that I think a lot of people um, don't realize. Like I just realized I've got one of my Mandos has the wrong color cape on it. What? Why have you got that color on? Wait a minute. Or does he? Does he? I think he does. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Excuse me.
Yeah, Paul, that's, that's, uh, I mean, I, I save everything when it comes to the Legos. Um, cause the one thing I have figured out or learned is you can always, uh, utilize them. Always. Let's put that one on there. I had a brown cape on where it should have been a black cape. What was up with that? I can't have mismatched mandos. I mean, come on. I guess I could, but I'm trying to be uniformed here. You know, I am I'm building an army. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. Um yesterday today too because i didn't actually do i actually had had a video yesterday my GameStop video that was just a quick little you know after work type thing so i went by GameStop after work as well yesterday to uh pick up a pre-order that came in and luckily there was something else on the shelf that uh i've been looking for and it was there. So, yes. Score. Um, blue. He gets that color. Um, so I was really super excited for that. Grocery store. Oh yeah. I'm actually going to go, uh, I might do it this afternoon. Um, Cause typically I'm out doing a hunt by the time I go live now. But since I've got the, the grandkids coming over, um, I didn't really get a, I wanted to stay here and help Kim out. So I didn't really get a chance to uh, go out this morning so I'm thinking about running down to the Dollar General store that's just right down the road from me and see if they have the Captain Rex Hot Wheel. I saw that picture posted. Somebody posted that, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got to find the Captain Rex Hot Wheel. Got to. All right. We're getting there. Boom, we're getting there. I might actually, uh... oh yeah, the army's coming together. <laughs> so I am thinking about, I've been thinking a lot, I've been taking a lot of inspiration from my buddy Kent Poole because he has redone his uh, some of his shelfage. So I am considering, considering actually putting together an actual display back here behind me of a lot of my uh, troopers. All right. We are up to 16 in the army right there. Boom. Yes. Yes. The army's coming together. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, it's coming together slowly, but surely. But it is coming together. Slowly. But that's okay. That's okay. It's a it's a marathon. It's not a um uh, it's not a race. Or not a sprint. It is a race, but it's a marathon race. Um I'm gonna make sure. Yep, got all those out. Booyah. Let 
Might as well. Might as well. Let's just go ahead and unpack a few of these. That way we can uh, get onto some other stuff too. Um, need that. Need a helmet. So that should be all that's in that one. So yeah, I've been really, really um, considering doing that. And it would probably be, be right here. On, or maybe right here. I don't know yet. That's the part I haven't figured out yet. Where I'm actually going to, uh, to put it. Because a big chunk of these totes behind me, um, two flowers, what's up, is Star Wars. And I've been messing around and I've been gathering up some more troopers and, and other things. So uh, I think it may be time to actually consider doing it. I haven't fully committed yet, but I am strongly leaning that way. And it's all because of my buddy Kimple. It's all his fault. I'm blaming everything on Kimple. So, thank you, Kimple, for planting a bug in my brain. It's all your fault. <laughs> all right, there's capes. Uh, we need a couple more helmets. Got three more bodies, pieces, legs. There's another set of legs. There's four bodies, four legs. I need another. There's a helmet, four helmets, four neck pegs. All right, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, we're golden. We're golden. I was watching a guy. What got me the inspiration for doing this, I'm trying to remember the name of the person, but they got a, Le a Lego channel. And uh, I actually watched one of his videos to where they were doing a lot of this minifig building, army building. And... Watching watching him do like 50 or 60 boxes was crazy. Crazy. I'm only doing three right now, and I'm just like, wow. Wow. So I can't even imagine if I had like, 60 boxes right here. That'd just be like crazy. I'm gonna let you guys see this process. That way at least you don't have to keep looking at my mug. <laughs> keep looking at my mug. This is where I, I, I had the mistake on the other one because this one gets the black. And for some reason, and I, I know the reason why is because I built it without actually looking at the instructions, thinking that it would make sense the way I was putting it together, but it didn't. So, voila, one mini pig, yay. I need to figure out, because what I'm probably going to do is I need to actually rearrange the actual peg layout what I need to do because I'm going to have to have, I think I'm going to do, I don't know how I'm going to, I haven't quite, I haven't got to the point to where I need to make that decision yet on how I'm actually going to lay them all out. 
but I do know that at some point, I'm gonna need to actually add some more rows to them. So, yeah. Blue legs, he gets brown. Okay. Oh, and I'm also going to try something, and I've got some inspiration from these mini figs. Is, and I'll show you here, is the way they do their, their capes is so simplistic, like that. I'm actually gonna cut some fabric out and recreate this same layout. I'm gonna draw a template out and actually cut some cloth that is the same exact way. And I'm gonna see how, how it lays on an action figure. I have a feeling that it might actually uh, might actually work. I have a feeling. I have a sneaky feeling that it could possibly work because the way this stuff folds and lays is actually really good, surprisingly good. And this is such a simple uh, layout. Orange head, there we go, boom. There we go. Oh, might as well do the other orange one. I might as well keep it going. Do the other, uh, do the other one. Finish out the row. As this, as this little army grows, um, I am coming to the conclusion that a um, hundred of these will look amazing. <laughs> I just, it just, I think it will. There we go. Whoops, upside down. Boom. We are cooking with Crisco right now. Once again. Fifty-five people in here. What? Watching me put mini figs together and tape up a helmet. There we go. Last one of those three boxes. Yeah, I think what I think I am. I think I'm going to separate the rows. I think I need to be thinking. I think I just need to be thinking a little differently right now. Voila. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come off to come off to over here. Let's see how good I am at doing this backwards. So what I think I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna separate that one. Whoops, did I get him on there? All right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. Just go ahead and create, or see if I can create on this board. I might actually have to get a bigger board. Maybe, I don't know yet. Okay. Separate that one by two, and then that one by two. Nope, I'm gonna have to do ones. I'm gonna have to do singular rows. For now, anyway. For now, 
Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now I've got a little bit more room to uh, put these little bad boys. Because I was thinking that I was going to have to get a bigger board. But I didn't want to have to get a bigger board at the moment until I needed it. So I think we are good for now. Get that one on there. Yeah, there we go. Boom. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work for now. And now you're back to this. I mean, just look at that. That looks so wicked cool. <laughs> I mean, I don't I'm I'm I don't know what it is about this, but it's just something about this just it just it fascinates me. It it just literally fascinates me. I could actually put ooh, I could do this. Hang on. I was gonna put it up, but I could do this. Leave it right there. There we go. I got I got Mando right there in the front. There we go. Voila. Voila. Um right. Don't need that no more. Uh, so, yeah, I went by GameStop yesterday and uh, picked up my pre-order. Ahsoka. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, super excited to um, get her. I was reading a message that, that Kent just posted. I'm just trying, I'm trying to figure it out in my head. All right, let's let's get up. Let's get let's, let's get a suka out right there. Oh, such a good looking pop. I am um, I am a little uh, I mean curious about this one because she's only got the one saber, and parts of me sort of wishes the actual lightsaber she actually had a lightsaber in her hand, but it's beautiful pop. Beautiful. So, do you guys have you guys heard about all of the um, the controversy over the GameStop um, mystery Fantastic Four mystery boxes that supposedly <coughs> um, there's like. There's no chase variants, but there's metallic and non-metallic. And basically, in a nutshell, if you wanted all of those, there'd be like eight of them. So, but the the one invisible woman one actually does look really cool. But supposedly, um, no chases, but you have two variants. So, for you to actually get all of them, you literally... <clears throat> would have to have eight boxes if you pulled an, a different one out of every box. So uh, that is definitely a mystery box that I will not be partaking in because that's just, that's crazy. Oh, definitely, definitely. Speaking of, there's Jetta Patrol. But yeah, this, this Asuka Pop's really awesome. Looks really good. 
But it would have been nice if the actual lightsaber had been extended, I think. That would have been nice. It would have been nice. But there's another one where it is. So, right there. But I guess since this is the GameStop exclusive, you know, it had to be a little different. But I was glad it actually came in yesterday. I can't, cannot wait. She will be photographed this weekend. Uh, I was also very fortunate enough to see this on the pegs. That's right. Center A Trooper. Now, what makes this really, really cool is I had mentioned in a few videos that I wanted two of them. And now I have two of them right there. Boom! Uh, this is another character that I feel like needs to be a pair. And so when it comes to figures, Stormtroopers, Army build. Cobra Troopers, Army build. Red Ninjas, Army build. There's certain, char there's certain characters and figures you just cannot have one of. You can't. It, it literally makes no sense from a posing, from a diorama, or anything. It makes no sense. One of these did not make sense to me. Two did. Now, four does not make sense for these. But if you take, let's think about this for a minute. Let's, let's just, let's, let's cross the streams. Let's, uh, let's be ridiculous for a moment. Let me, uh, let me look here. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I've got boxes. And yeah, I've, I've, I've got more boxes. And I have more boxes. I have a problem. Um, no, 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 yes. That one. All right, let's think about this for a minute. Um, oh, I did find another one of these. Nope, I didn't either. Thought I did. Yeah, I did. There it is. Boom. I forgot one. All right. Now, this is what I have at the moment. So I'm using this as a as a an example. Do not crucify me for what I'm getting ready to do. I already know, but I don't care. So we're using this as an example. All right, because this is what I have close. So let me do a little bit of uh, building here. So I can actually lay this out in a way that remotely makes sense. Don't need that. Need those. Hang on. We're getting there. We're getting there. I promise. Oh, I need that one. But I have some more of these. So, all right. Boom. All right. We got Clone Trooper. Clone Trooper. Yes, I know they're Clone Troopers. All right. So, we get, we got a lieutenant. Boom, right? And we got another lieutenant. Man, look at this. We're, we're building something here. Then you take one of these. Boom. Now you're building an army. Now you're building squads. Now, I grant, I know these are stormtroopers. These, I know that. I've got stormtroopers but you get the gist now the reason why uh these are the next thing that i'm literally like religiously going after is these just plain clone troopers because this goes along with this genre 
You know, you could do this and this. See? Military mind here. Look, Marine Corps. Military mindset. Um, and if you wanted to, you could, look, throw her in there. Boom. See, I mean... You can have some you can have some fun and that's the reason why I um that's the reason why I'm so religious when it comes to like clone troopers and stormtroopers. Um I'm actually considering doing uh some repaints on these lieutenants. But that's the reason why I needed two of these. Because let me explain it. All right, let me explain it. See, that's why I need some more of these. I need at least I need at least one more of these to go with her. There's got to be a pair of these to go with her. See, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't look right. But if there was another one of these here, it's perfect. If there was four of these, then it's even better, but one more of these would make this a perfect scene, but this does not make sense. One in one, it makes it makes no sense whatsoever, and it just does not jive. And that's the reason why these are still in the boxes because I do not open figures until my vision is seen, and sometimes that vision takes a while. It, it does. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It takes a while. Um, the lieutenants, I like the lieutenants because I don't, I don't, I don't have, you don't have to call them lieutenants. Heck yeah, Marines are cool. Marines are awesome. Um, I actually have a nephew that just, he is in boot camp right now. I think this is like his fourth day. Um, but that's the way you got to look at it from a mindset, you know, like, you only need one of these. Best Marine is a submarine code Navy. <laughs> hey, my other nephew actually is joining the Navy next year, next June, and I was actually aggravating him uh, at Thanksgiving, and I was telling him, hey, you know, the Marine Corps needs Uber drivers and Lyft drivers. But so, like the armor figure, only need one. Only need one. Only need, just, you, you just only need one. There, it may, there's no logical sense to have two armors. I mean, because there was only one armor show. Now, could there be multiple armors? Yeah, there could be. But let's show you another example. If we cross the streams, armor. And I know, I know, I know, Mandalorian, Clover, but boom. See, that looks good to me. Two of the super commandos looks good. So that just lets you inside the way I think and the way I plan some of this stuff out. There is a method to the madness. Believe it or not, there is a method. Sometimes that method is um, a work in progress. But <laughs> there is there is a method to the madness. Yeah. So there you have it. In case you ever wondered how my brain thought in the way I collect, that's the reason why. The same reason why I, I took the padded suit off this bad boy because the padded suit made no sense. It didn't need it. It hindered it. It made it worse. Gone. Take that padded suit off. Uh, biggest regret was cussing out a Marine recruiter and not enlisting. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Honestly, I, we were talking. We were talking over Thanksgiving. Uh, my brother-in-law is actually a Marine, and. Uh, he, he actually was able to do his whole enlistment to where I actually, uh, since I'm a disabled veteran because of my injuries, uh, I, I didn't get that opportunity. And, and I've always just, it, it gnaws at me. It gnaws at me a lot. Um, 
but there's always a reason for everything. And if I had continued on, I'd probably be looking at, uh, uh, let's see, 87. I'd probably, I'd be like over 30 years right now in. But I would have never met Kim, never had a, a, the family I have now, and 99.99% of this would not be happening. So there's reasons for everything. There's reasons for everything. And sometimes we just gotta, you know, put it in the good Lord's hands and say, hey, you know, what do you wanna do? Um, do I still miss it every day? Every day. I miss the Marine Corps every stinking day. So, but it is what it is. Can't cry over spilt milk. You learn from things, you move on. I wouldn't have a beard if I was still in the Marine Corps. That's the truth. But, um, but I do, I commend anybody that makes that commitment. Because it is a commitment. Huge commitment. So, now you sort of understand the way maybe you understand <laughs> a little bit of the way my my brain housing group functions when it comes to, because I've had people ask me before, you know, why do you need, you know, five figures? Because it makes sense. You know? Duh. <laughs> Show us my your gun collections? No. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. I will never show you my gun collection. <laughs> that will never happen. Some things are meant to be private. That's one of them. Wait a minute. There you go. I've got five of these. These blasters, I've got five of these. <laughs> um, but it's so funny to me because it's like, I love it when, like, I admire anybody that Army builds. You know, I, I admire anybody that does it. I think it's the greatest thing in the world to Army build. Nothing? What? Um... Slideshow, um, eh, eh, maybe. Usually when I do a photo session, I usually put photos at the end of those videos of the photos that I took. Um, I am looking forward to uh, getting getting old, uh, old Mando out now that I can actually pose him up and have fun with him. Um, it's been really wet here lately, so I'm waiting on some stuff to dry out before I get him out and do some photos of him. Um, in the meantime, I'm actually getting ready to cast the helmet that came with him because I want some more of the six scale um, helmets. I want some more of these. So I am uh, getting ready to do a cast of this helmet, which I'm really looking forward to, to do a mold on this one. Um, I got to get this thing out, which I think it just pops out. I think it does. I'm not for sure. It does right there. It's got a little peg on it. Yes. I will definitely make my tweezers to get that back on. So guess what? That's great. So now I can make a mold. Now I can make a mold because I want a six scale version of this only there's only one comes with it I need more see that's one it, it's it's supposed to be it's supposed to be halfway decent today but it's gonna be raining again tomorrow so yeah this now I can mold this bad boy I think what I'm gonna do though yeah yeah Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Let's um, 
Let's see something here real quick. As I put figures back up. Come on, helmet, get out of the way. There we go. Now then. Always put your toys back up when you're done playing with them. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do that. Just saying. I do. I, I will tell you this, though. I am really digging these, these boxes. I am digging these new boxes. If you're a box co collector, then you've got to be loving this. That's just... They look so good on the shelf. It's insane how good they look. I mean, literally insane. So, I need to tear down. I should have done this and I didn't. And I'm probably gonna regret not doing it. Oh, if you're at Walmart and you see this, you need to pick this up for 10 bucks. Little, I mean, it's like a little bench. It sits on your work table. There we go. There we go. Whoa, hello. Booyah, voila. Um, so, let's, real quick, we'll get this party started. <clears throat> we'll, uh, See what we can come up with here. My little mold mat. Nice in Arizona. Arizona. Uh, God, when was the last time I was in Arizona? Maybe 2008? Uh-oh, Adam Savage tested one-day build Luke's lightsaber. Oh, yeah. I'll be watching that one for sure. I will definitely be watching that one. Adam Savage is like a big inspiration for me when it comes to a lot of this stuff. Big inspiration. Always has been. All right. Oh, excuse me. I guess I could show what I'm doing. So I'm taking some of this plastiline uh, clay and I'm going to attach it to the helmet. And I'm trying to decide because I want to keep this one ridge line, but I'm thinking I might actually put it over this hole right here because I don't necessarily want that hole. So get my... Uh, this going then voila there we go oh there we go boom and see I use Legos a lot when I do uh, these uh, you can do a cup but I've really got into doing the using Legos because honestly, they uh, they just seem to work a little better. The fun part is is figuring out. I may have to actually use a cut for this one. I may, or I may need to use a bigger board. Uh. 
I may need to use a bigger board. Uh, maybe not. Let's look here. Let's build that wall. Uh, nope. So see, even even Legos have so many multiple uses that, uh, yeah, there we go. Boom, boom. Let's go ahead and put a big one right there for now. Yeah, I think that might actually work like that right there. All right, we're getting there. Um, it don't need to be a huge mold, so that one will probably work. So put a four right there and a six right there. There we go. Once you get your base down, then it's a lot easier. It's definitely a lot easier once the base is down. I need another four right there. Man, that'll work. All right. I think that's too big. Not big enough. Nope. That'll work. That'll work. So basically the, the beauty of mold making is, especially with Legos, is you have the ability to uh, be very, very creative in your mold making process. So I know that this one needs to go there, like that. We're going to do that one there, and that one there. Nope. Maybe. And one of those. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now that the actual base is built like that, now I just need to go up. Uh, I'll hot glue this, uh, this down. I'll take some hot glue and put on the plasticine to hold that in place. And then I will pour the mold. I will pour the mold, but I, I really am I'm torn on that hole right there. I'm really torn on it. And I may put some clay inside there. I don't know yet, but uh, that sort of gives you an idea of how I'll make a mold to this. But once I put the hot glue around the edge of the Legos, that'll lock that in place and keep it. And then, like I said, put a little hot glue on the plasticine to mount it to the actual board. The plasticine, using the clay, it'll, it'll stick on its own. And if you pour slow enough, it won't come loose. But I, I have actually had, um, and this is going to be the, the pour tube for the, um, for the resin, the, um, but I haven't decided yet if I want to do it. I might, I could do it that way too. I could do it that way. That would be a less higher of a mold, but the air gap there. So I'll probably do it this way. And even though this will fill up more with uh, the silicone, it'll still work out good. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to do it. I think that's where we're going to do it. Yes. Look at there. We've taped up a helmet. Um, yeah, we've taped up the helmet. We've built some Mando minifigs. We've looked at some pops. We've looked at how our army build. We, we've started building a mold. Holy butt crackers. This has been productive. That's right. <laughs> this has been productive. Um, yeah. The only other thing that would make it more productive 
is if I went over there and shot a coat of paint. But I'd have to gear up to do that. So I will do that afterwards. But I promise you this. If you follow me on Instagram, you will see photos today of the paint. Because I do need to go over and double check and make sure um, that um, none of the tape is came, 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 came loose. Also, I want to tell you this real quick. If you decide to ever get into mold making, resin casting, stuff like that, plasticine. That's the clay you want to use. Uh, this clay is sulfur free and it never hardens. Here's an example. I just threw this one away. This, this, this piece of clay here that I just took out of the mold, yes, I threw it away. I threw it away because it has been out in the air for three months. Three months. It has literally been sitting on the shelf in this mold for three months and it is still pliable. Look at there. It's actually still technically good, but since it's been out in the air, um, it's got dust, paint, blah, blah, blah on it. So plasticine uh, clay, it's uh, P-L-A-S-T-A-L-I-E-N. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, four and a half pound brick is like 15 bucks. I've not even scratched the surface of use. Um, I keep it in a Ziploc bag so contaminants don't get in it. But again, like I said, this is still technically good clay. I'll probably give this to my five-year-old granddaughter. That way she can just play with it and do whatever she wants to with it. So yeah, definitely I'm, uh, I'll be pouring a mold this weekend. Yes. I'm also, uh, one more thing I want to show you guys. So I bought this um, 3D printed pistol um, a, few, a few months ago. And uh, I've been really trying to figure out the whole paint scheme and stuff, but I actually have finally figured out what paint scheme I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna do a Death Watch style paint scheme to this, uh, but muted. But I am seriously considering making a two-piece mold and doing a resin cast of this. Um, I've been really studying how to do the two-piece molds. It's, um, they're a lot more complicated, but this one being so square, it actually would not be terribly hard to do. So, for my first one, I thought, why not make a resin, uh, a resin model of this? Because for a couple of reasons, number one, it'd be a little heavier uh, to be solid, which would give it weight. That's the big problem I have with 3D prints is they're too light. Um, I'm not worried about the magazine, anything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm seriously considering this being my first two-piece mold project. I just need to get a crap ton more silicone because this will be a big, a big mold. But yeah, right there. I think that'd be cool. But I think, I think guys, we'll wrap it up because uh, I need to get upstairs. Uh, uh, I actually have an Etsy store. Um, just Greg Cook. I think it's Greg Cook Photography. It's, it's in the, I think I got the link in my, des my description of my videos, but I do have an Etsy store. A lot of the masks that I have, I've got on there and I'm not going to lie to you. They're not, they're not cheap. They're not. Um, but there's a lot of work that goes into them. Uh, there's a lot of cost that goes into them. There's a lot of time, a lot of labor. So, uh, yeah, it's, I can't look, but I think it, I think it's in the description of my videos, but you can just Greg Cook Photography, Etsy. I'm out there, but I've got all my, my Mempo masks. I've got them on there. Um, pretty much everything that I build, they're one-offs. And I, I'll sell them. I've had people ask me about them, so I thought, hey, why not just throw an Etsy store? I also have a set of blasters that I made on Etsy. 
if, if you're interested in some Captain Rex style blasters right there with resin castings, boom. Um, yeah, but there's stuff there. If you're interested, um, check it out, you know? But yeah, that's it. We're done. We've been going for 90 something minutes and, um, I need to get upstairs or I'm going to get in trouble. So just saying, I need to get upstairs. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the, uh, the stream today. I know that the whole taping of the helmet might've been a little boring to, uh, to some, but I'm glad you were here to, uh, experience it with me, sort of give you a little bit inside of some of the stuff I do. Um, definitely going to be some hunt videos coming up. I've got some requests to do some review videos. So I've got a couple of figures I'm going to do some reviews on this week that I have picked up. Um, I'm seriously considering a, uh, toy photography video this week, hopefully. Um, no, I don't want to be in trouble, but yeah, there's a lot coming on. There's a lot coming. So, uh, Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you got notifications turned on. Spread the word, you know. Hey, we still got a whole nother month left. Let's see if we can get to 15K by the end of the year. That'd be great. December 25th is my birthday. That'd be the best birthday present ever would be to have 15,000 subscribers. I think that'd be a great birthday present. So spread the word. Let's see if we can make it happen. I know we can. There's 51 of you in here. I can't do the math, but I'm sure that if every one of you 51 people, let's see, I mean, you know, got what, 100? I don't know. I, I, I suck at math, you know? But, uh, yeah, we're done. So um, definitely let me know in the comments if I missed anything. You can drop me a comment in this video, uh, but I'll definitely keep you up to speed with the helmet. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see the progress on that. Also, for the mold, follow me on Instagram. You'll see progress on that. And uh, I may actually may do a video on pouring this. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that's it. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Hope you have a great rest of the weekend. And always remember, toys refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.